Good evening and welcome to Views with Joyce Waddell. I want to thank you for joining us this evening. We have an interesting program for you. We're going to be talking about getting the life that you want. Getting the life that you want. Sometimes it means changing the direction, changing the path that you're on and taking a different direction. When Alice in Wonderland fell down in the hole and she didn't know which way to go, she was trying to find her way. So she met this rabbit and she asked him, which way should she go? She started asking questions and he said, if you're lost, you don't know which way anyway will do. Just go anywhere. So as you get the life that you want, we don't want to go anywhere. We want to have directions and spaces and places that we're going. We're going to be listening to the thoughts, the advice of Ayanna Benzett. Alana Vincent. She's a life coach. She's an attorney by training. And she's been doing this for a long time. She was on Oprah's show for a long time. And she had her own show on life coaching as she coached people. She was on the networks aside of Phil. So her ratings began to drop and Dr. Phil's rate ratings began to grow. So consequently, you know, he was the one who won that prime time spot. She continues to be on different shows, sharing her views, writing books, vid doing videos and tapes about the life that you live. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight as we go back and forth and listen to her advice. As we listen to her advice, we're going to be parallel in that. As we chime in on advice from others, Steve Harvey and many others, who wants to share with us getting the life that you want. And to take that a step further, the life that you deserve, the life that you will work for, the life that you will cherish. It's a wonderful life and a beautiful experience. And so, we'll now see what Ariana has to say for us. Okay, you gotta be clear about it. Don't delude yourself into believing that somehow or another you are not gonna get caught up in the massive changes that are going on. And for all of you that are here, entrepreneurs, we have entrepreneurs here and business owners. We have future entrepreneurs and, and, and people that want to do that. We have the authors here, people ready to write a book. Yeah, teachers. Yeah, so, so we are the ones that have to begin to live our lives from the inside out and not get caught up in what the eyes can see. Because you know, these things right here will trick you. My grandmother used to always say, don't believe your lying eyes, you know, <laughs> your eyes will lie to you. Because I really thought that my husband would be it for the first time. I looked at him and said, oh, that's it. I should not have believed my lying eyes. <laughs> you know, because we get caught up with these things. So we want to begin to live our lives and build our businesses and create our vision from the inside out. Building your life from the inside out because the real boss is on the inside. And you can't forget who the boss is. You know, the boss is your thoughts. How you think it. How you, how you think about yourself, how you think about what you're doing. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know, but I want to repeat it over and over and over again until you believe that everything that's in your life, everyone that's in your life, everything that you've ever experienced in your life is a result of an energetic invitation. That means you thought a thought, you had a feeling, and you issued an invitation to the universe for it to come. And if it's not coming, it's because you have an issue the invitation. If you want it, you have to issue the invitation from the inside out. So I want to tell you three things. Because, it, uh, you know, for me, there's some things that I really want in life, some things I don't really care about in life, but some things that I really want in life. Number one is love. 
Yeah? So we all want to be loved, right? I don't, I don't care who it is. Now, you'd like to have a lover, but even if you can't get there, just know that somebody loves you. You understand? Is, is that right? Am I by myself? Nobody be so cute and that when you're in trouble, you be looking for a phone number. <laughs> get right on the speed dial. Oh Lord, let me go. Everybody wants to be loved. Yeah. And everybody. And she shares with us, get in the life that you want. And gives us her first principle to be loved. And not only do we want to be loved, and we have a desire and a need to be loved, we must also learn to love ourselves. So as we think about that life that we want, making it the very best journey that we will have as we go through this universe. And what another writer tells us, that join him for 30 years, he'd been an entertainer. And God had him go through everything. He's gone through so much that he can share. But to do the list, he needed the help of someone. And so he sought after someone to help him write that list down. And his st first step is acknowledge your pain. Acknowledge your pain. So you must take time to focus and most important, dedication who's jumping into the personal empowerment space and wants to take the leap. It's you. You're going to take that leap to be in charge of your life, to jumpstart your life and get the life that you want. It does not start yesterday, tomorrow. It starts today, right now. Because you have decided that this is the life that you want. You have decided that you want the very best. And so we have titled this show, Get in the Life That You Want. And Yolanda Vincent is here to share the things that are so necessary about people as they choose a business, as they choose a world or a place of work to get the life that they want. The first time, you have to really think about your dreams. And after you think about that, you, if you dream it, you can believe it. If you dream it, you can see it. If you dream it, you can transform it in to reality. As you think about the directions that you want your life to go. A lot of people cannot stand to work for somebody else. They want their own business, or they want their business on the side. As I talk to young people in schools and colleges, that's the first thing they say to me when they think about moving forward and choosing a life's vocation. They think about owning a business, being their own boss, creating something, inventing something, and then reaping the profits of that thing that they have created or invented. They think about a life of independence. They think about a life of security. They think about a life today that will secure a future for tomorrow. So when we think about getting the life that you want, those are important aspects of it. And so now we'll go back to Yolanda Van Zandt as she shares her second principle, and she talks about how important it is in life. They didn't hear me when I was in trouble. They didn't hear me when I was speaking. They just didn't hear me. And then, you know, in the time that I grew up, children needed to be seen and not heard and blah, blah, Yeah, but you know, excuse me, the dog has my hand in its mouth. Can you hear me hollering, please? <laughs> Sometimes the big people get so caught up in their own dysfunction until they miss the needs of the children altogether. 
we need to be heard. We need to know that what I'm saying to you, that what you're doing to me is painful or hurtful or, or frightening or whatever, that you hear me. And we have, the, we have a right to be heard. We want to be heard. So we want to be loved. We want to be heard. And for the most part, we want to know that our site life has some modicum of success. Yeah? Who wants to walk around failing at everything? All the time, bake the cake, the cake fall. Try to diet, you gain 10 pounds. You get better to get the course. I mean, you know, that's real fun, right? <laughs> Nobody just wants to walk around failing at everything. We want to tell that our life has some modicum of success. But the question is, are we vibrating at a place where love and, and being heard and success can come to us? Are we sending out an invitation for love are we still so mad at Boo Boo from back in 56 that we don't set it up so that we don't kind of need nobody? And those are questions that you have to ask yourself. But I want you to know three things. Number one, you have a right to be loved, to be heard, and to be successful. You have a reason to be loved to be heard and to be successful, and you have a responsibility to be loved, to be heard, and to be successful. You got a right, a reason, and a responsibility. And it begins with giving away all of the things that block you from being loved, from being heard, and from being successful. Give it away! Get rid of it. You got a right to be loved. You have a right to be loved, a right to be heard, and a right to be successful. These are the three things that she is sharing with us as you jump start your life and prepare for what you want your life to be. As you seek the directions that are important, to make this life the very best that it can be. You want to be heard, you want to be loved, and you want to be successful. And of, of course, the responsibility lives within us to seek out these things. These are just adjectives. They must be created into meaningful experiences in our lives as we make the journey through. So when life gets hard, it's easy to see all of the things that aren't going right. However, in order to change that to occur, you must look for positive things to occur, or even if you can't only manage to be thankful for just five minutes in a day, five successful minutes. So you have to appreciate the fact that at least you have some good experiences. You have to reflect on them and to make them real and rehearsed in your life each day. Sometimes if you think you are going to forget, you write them down, put them on a mirror, and remind yourself of those successful experiences that happen. You have a, an ability to stay in a state of gratitude, live in gratitude, and stay in gratitude, and invite everyone around you to be in gratitude. Because sometimes that's the thing that pulls you down. That's the thing that zaps your energy when you have a lot of negatives in your space. You want to be loved. You want to be heard. You want to be successful. And you can think of many other adjectives that can describe the journey that you want when you are thinking of getting and living the best life ever. And now we go back to our speaker as she continues to share with us how we can get that best life ever. Some of us are just playing me. Meaner than a wet cat on a Friday night. that you are forfeiting 
your right to be loved. Because don't nobody want to work through meanness. Now, we, there's some stuff we'll be willing to work through, particularly men, you know, they can't, they can't take too much. <laughs> but nobody don't want to work through meanness. You, you, they just don't. Uh, don't work through some challenges with your family. You know, you got a few baby kids running around, something like that. Don't work with that. But if your butt is just mean, don't nobody want to be bothered with you. And then we make it about them. Child, please, you know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mean walk. <laughs> you know. But you have a right to be loved. So I want to remind you when our elder, Maya, Sister Maya, said to us, don't keep holding on to what somebody did to you. Because somebody was beat before you. Somebody was left before you. Somebody was raped and violated and betrayed before you. And somebody survived. So will you. Stop telling them, beat me up. I'm a victim. Down in the trenches stories. And you'll stop being mean. You got a right to be loved, but you got to be available to it. You got a right to be loved. And that means you have to know and set the standard for, for, for what love looks like for you. So if you knew that you grew up among crazy people, <laughs> who had a very skewed perception of love, I grew up among wonderful people who they, you know, every Friday night they went down in the basement for the poker card parties with the scotch and the, and the ice in the bag and the little cooler and stuff. And by 10 o'clock, second round, second hand of poker, they was fighting. <laughs> they did this every weekend. See, if I came to your house one weekend and somebody jumped on me, I wouldn't. <laughs> We've seen in our community, in our, in our homes, and around us, the same things that she's talking about when you have a right to be loved, and how people sometimes relate to each other in adverse kinds of ways. But that does not negate the fact that you have a right to be loved. And as we look at some of the things that others tell us, who've gone through this journey and helped others to be successful, to be loved, to be heard. Some of the things that they've shared with us include embrace a vision, see something, write that vision down, pursue that vision with gratitude, and leave the negativity behind. Once you have a vision, find a way to remind yourself each and every day of where you're going and what you're trying to do. Think about your goals and write them down. And one of our top motivational speakers in the country, Ivana, Ivana once said, since then the board has inspired people to take steps to make their own dream a reality. When she finished talking to that 1,000 attendance group of people, and they went out, they continued to listen to her words. You gotta be loved, you gotta seek it, open yourself up to it. Can't be mean and resentful, you gotta open yourself to that love, to be heard and to be successful. After we established that vision, not being mean, being responsive, and being open to others, then we move forward okay. to make it a reality. And now we go back to Yolanda Vincent as she continues to share the meaning and puts it into a form that's real to each of us. Everybody but your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, crazy as the day is long, 
We turn back with pale father on. No teeth in the... That's all. Could they be related to somebody else? You've got a right to be loved, but it means you've got to be accessible to You've got to stop telling the stories of the past that made you a victim to someone else's distorted process of love. And you've got to create the love that makes you feel good. And we have a right to do that. You know, we are so caught up in what other people tell us we have to do, need to do, particularly women. The definitions and labels that confine us and define us. So shake that off. You kind of like to be loved, but you have to set the boundaries for what that looks like. If there's anybody in your life behaving badly, it's because you invited them in and you let them stay there. Your people can't act bad in my life. Now they can act bad in their life. They can't act bad in my life. Don't let people show up and act badly in your life. You don't have to do anything for anybody. My son is in the back of the room. True story, I'm going to tell you right now. He was nine years old. I was a young single mother. He's shaking his head like that. Excuse me, that is not my son, that is my assistant. <laughs> Let me tell you about my son. <laughs> yeah, he was nine years old, right? And I was a single mom, three kids, in the projects in Brooklyn, trying to make it, you know, do it. And we bring him to the dinner one day for, uh, and he says, chicken! I want some chicken! <laughs> really? Eat red meat. <laughs> so he done been somewhere, somebody done told him something about a steak, he don't even know what it is. <laughs> so now, yeah, I'm so glad to be able to get five pounds of chicken wings for a dollar. As we continue to focus on our topic, get the best life, get in the best life. And it takes responsibility. And as we do talk about that topic, we focus on Yolanda Benzett as she shares with us the three basic philosophical principles of getting the best life, to be loved, to be heard, and to be successful, along with those things that go along with it, to create a success. In addition to that, others have joined and given us additional principles, such as practice patience, because many people are looking for the quick fix in life's challenges. 
but one does not exist. There is no quick fix. Some people must realize that you must be on your knees. You're going to have some scrapes and bruises. Some elbows are going to turn. That's because each of us will have our own dreams and we will focus on our own path as we seek the best life ever. To be able to accompany you, there's not gonna always be somebody along with you in your path. Many times it's gonna be you and you alone. But that doesn't stop you from getting that best life. Through the personal empowerment space has not been, has not, doesn't happen overnight. It's been many, many years coming as Yolanda Fensett shares with you. And she talks about being loved, being heard, and being successful, and at the same time, opening up yourself and your space for others. So we're gonna come back to her again, as she's gonna continue to share with us her next principle, as she talks about and expounds on getting that best life. We've been talking about getting that, uh, doing what you have and, and going forward with making your life the best life. As we've been listening to Yolanda Van said, one of the life coaches, one of the motivational speeches that always has great stuff. She always helps us to move forward. And she's given us some great messages about being loved, being heard, being successful, and not only that, seeking those things for ourselves, because there is no journey that you're gonna be taking with someone else. It is your journey, yourself, your directions, as you seek those better things as you move forward. Thank you for being with us on Views with Joyce Waddell. Tune in again for another interesting program. <laughs>